Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Trudy Web Minute. Or if you're catching us on Podbean for the bonus episodes, shout out Aiden for editing this. I hope you're enjoying our content. Greg's been super busy with projects, so I'm stepping in here with my uh, social media expertise. Um, But today, I don't want to talk about anything technical. I want to get into the idea of how going viral doesn't necessarily equate to social media success. So what do I mean by that? I know a lot of people when they see viral campaigns and all the money that's put behind it, they automatically think, wow, those guys are good at social media. Those guys are killing it. You know, they've got all the likes, they have all the comments. But the reality is that being going viral and putting all that money into a campaign doesn't necessarily grow your brand and it certainly doesn't achieve all of your goals. Something that I always stress here is the strategy behind social media. You shouldn't just go out and just go posting and creating all this random content and hoping that something sticks to the wall. What you need to have is a plan and you need to have a goal in mind that your strategy is working towards. For example, I worked on a medical account uh, last year during the height of the pandemic and I grew it to well over about 5 million impressions a month and that was just purely organic nothing was paid but at the end of the day this account was going viral but achieving the goal which was to garner more leads and generate more leads through their website going viral it wasn't achieving that goal that that strategy did not work it worked in a sense that When people looked at the page, when people looked at the numbers, they were blown away. They were like, how are you doing this? How are you creating all this content? It's all original and nothing's paid. And you're getting millions and millions of impressions and thousands upon thousands of likes on every post. But I always came back to the fact that sure, we were doing great and we went quote unquote viral, but it didn't necessarily grow the practice the way that I had wanted to. So now I'm going, I'm sticking to the strategy of really providing value to our audience, providing tips and giving them insight into the office. And believe it or not, with the reach cut in half or more, we're generating more leads than ever. We're bringing people to the website. We're taking them to the contact form where they are getting a touch with a practice and we are truly generating leads and adhering to the strategy, which is achieving the goal. And the goal was never to be viral. The goal was always to grow the practice. So I just want you to keep that in mind when you're on social media and you think, wow, I need to go viral. I need the new campaign. I need to, you know, do this trend and that trend. If that's what your goal is, if your goal is to increase reach, perfect. That's what you should be doing. But When your strategy is something different and it's not just vanity metrics and it's not just growing the perception of your brand and you really need to move the needle, sometimes you need to rethink your strategy and always keep your goals in mind.